Uh, my name is Kevin Pere Marimbet. I'm from the mechatronics department. I uh, recently graduated uh, in the year 2023. My internship was based in uh, Switzerland, Zurich. I was at a startup company known as Lumi Feseji, which is a, a very new startup company, about three years old. The startup company was a deep tech startup company. I would say it's similar to STL right here in Kemadi. Um, it, uh, what, what, what they are currently focusing on right now was just uh, microchips and silicon technology. They really put emphasis on skills. And one skill that is very critical and important over there above all was collaboration, communication and teamwork. Those three were like very crucial, especially in a startup, because sometimes you have like a lot of roles, because they doesn't have enough money to hire everyone and every, and every profession they need. So sometimes you multitask. I remember there was one time I was doing three projects parallel to each other, so you have like three projects. But I was struggling at first having three projects, but I kind of got used to it, and I would say that was a big, huge help, very huge help. And one of the biggest benefits that I consider for, the, uh, for that internship was the fact that I got to, uh, the chance to work uh, in a fast-paced professional environment and also a chance to network at the industry level and also uh, get, get a chance to know what actually is trending in the industry. The culture there is a, is a, it was a bit different for me. It was more individualistic and not very outgoing. Here people are very, um, let's say, social. You get to know everyone in your neighborhood. But there it's mostly very individualistic. Uh, at first it was awkward. I met my first neighbor after six months. <laughs> and then after that, um, it was pretty amazing, I would say. Um, but one thing I really noticed from, very different from them was the diet. Pretty much the same food, but just prepared in a very different way. Was Actually, there was maize flour <laughs> from Netherlands. <laughs> But I really don't know what it was used for. But <laughs> <laughs> one challenge that I really had, I remember I spent my first time in a supermarket for 30 minutes translating everything from German to English. <laughs> <laughs> it was amazing, it was quite different from what I'm used to here. I would say their social life was a bit more chill compared to Kenya. Um, I would say also say that how things are conducted there was very different. And uh, the social life there was quite, uh, I would say, I would say very peaceful compared to here. <laughs> and also, I got a chance to meet other Kenyans over there. They always have like, um, come to, uh, let's say, come together. Like I think right now in Ag July, yeah, in July, August, they have like, a, they call it an Afro Fista, which is like an Afro event where different cultures and people, people from Uganda, Tanzania, Ethiopia, they come and showcase their products, mostly food and also their culture. Like for example, I think I met a Maasai lady there. She was selling Maasai shukas. Mm. I met a woman from Western. She was, oh. she was selling ugali and fish mm. <laughs> and sambusa. <laughs> and also chapati. Mm. And also I met a Ugandan lady. She was also, I, I actually didn't know what she was selling, but she had a stand there. But the most, uh, Ethiopians were the most people over there, mm. their food. I would recommend it 100%. <laughs> the infrastructure over there, um, it was pretty amazing. I loved the fact that the trains and the buses were very interconnected, where you'd get off a train and there's a bus like waiting there, and they're always like um, they're always connected to each other, so that um, when you get to the bus station, you can only you can always check how how long the bus is going to take, how late it is going to be. Let's say most of the time the bus was always late by three minutes and they would always tell you the bus would be late by three minutes. That was one thing that fascinated me. The, their transport was very advanced. <laughs> very, they were very punctual. When they say it's nine, it's actually nine. When the bus, like the bus, it all, you can always check the bus when it arrives. For example, my bus always arrived at 9.04. Like, and it was bell there by 9.04. Yeah, that, that was one thing I found pretty amazing, was just the infrastructure, the timing, and also how clean the place was. All the rivers, most of the rivers I saw were blue. I've never seen blue rivers. <laughs> it got to a point I started taking photos of brown rivers. Because <laughs> they're rare. Yeah, very rare. Most of them are blue, very cold, and very clean. Very clean, yeah. And actually most of the cities there are built beside lakes. 
so they always have some fireworks events about the lake, which I'd say was the highlight of my night, <laughs> was the fireworks, amazing fireworks. And also sometimes um, we had the military showcasing the equipment above a waterfall or above a lake. I would say that was the highlight of my internship. Yeah. The environment at work was actually quite amazing. One thing I liked about it was um, the work-life the work -life balance, where only eight hours past that, um, you, you, you needed to go home. And also the fact that they had social events at work, which I was a chance actually to network with other colleagues and find out what other colleagues are actually working on. And also you tell them what you're working on at the same time. My projects were mostly based on automation. Um, the company was mostly focused on material science, mostly silicon technology. But uh, my internship was uh, automation, so that, mean, that meant automating the, the devices and processes that they had at the company. And I was fortunate enough to find that they were buying new machines, so it was quite an enjoyable experience. I would say the industry there is very much more advanced, especially the fact that most of them have R&D, which is always means continuous learning, continuous integration. And that would mean that it's, you're always growing, and it was nice to work under like, a professionals. One thing I noticed about it is uh, how much uh, the, uh, let's say the external factors that they actually, how much the company puts into ensuring that you upgrade your skills and how much they encourage you not only to network but also to search for other opportunities. And also one thing that I really loved about the place was the fact, was the fact that they, would, they were willing to assist you in anything, either both personally and also professionally. I really enjoy biking, so I did bike around. Some were extreme, uh, 93 kilometers in a day, but yeah, I really did enjoy that. <laughs> I would recommend the internship 100%. I would say it was the most eye-opening experience that I've ever had, both professionally, socially, and in, it was an eye-opener in every aspect, I would say. Um, it gives you a clear career path of what you should focus on and what you should check on. And also the development and the networking that you get there is uh, top-notch compared to just online networking.